Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So thank you so much for subscribing and liking this video. I really enjoy making um, these videos, especially regarding Weight Watchers. Uh, I, I like the communication that we're having in the comments and I, I really appreciate you commenting and um, chatting in there about your journey. So uh, as I mentioned in uh, the, the video that I'll link somewhere below about um, what tips to tips about starting Weight Watchers. Uh, one of my biggest things that I've struggled with um, starting ag starting again is um, the coffee situation because I was drinking at 12 points a day of coffee creamer to um, now I drink about two points to three points. Uh, if you drink black coffee, this video is not for you. <laughs> Um, you drink zero points if it coffee, black coffee is zero points, as a lot of us know. So uh, I scoured the internet, I looked everywhere on YouTube, and even I follow a lot of Weight Watchers ambassadors on Instagram, because I wanted to see what people were doing for their coffee creamer. And it took a while and for me to, to figure it out. And uh, so I thought I would have this in one place. My, what I'm about to say is really important. <laughs> it takes a long time to get from 12 points to two points. It takes a lot of time because of our taste buds. <laughs> That's it. There's no easy answer. There's nothing marketed that is just phenomenal and zero points where you can just easily transition. Um, but it took me forever. It took me probably just over two months to get this down. So. I'm just being real with you. So I'm gonna take you to my kitchen where I am going to demonstrate exactly what I did before, what a cup of coffee looked like uh, for me, 12 points a day, to about what I do now, uh, which is about two points. It's one point for a cup of coffee. I have a cup of coffee in the morning and I have a cup of coffee in the afternoon, so that's two points. Sometimes I'll splurge and I'll have three because life is all about moderation and balance. So anyway, I hope you find this uh, video helpful and useful in any way. Please leave a comment below and remember to like. Uh, thank you so much and have a good one. Take care. Okay, so let's get started with how I progressed from drinking about four points a day to about one. Uh, and I drink a couple of cups a day, by the way, um, as I previously have stated in other videos. So here's where it all began. I would drink from this cup uh, pretty much all the time, all right? It's a typical love you mom with a picture of your kid on the back, but it's a typical glass, sorry. And I would put in about, well, I would put in a lot of this stuff. So I'm gonna actually show you how much I would put in, I'm, I'm actually going to use the glass cup um, or this glass mug because, um, so you can just see in comparison. All right, so this is a typical, this is an off brand by the way, it is the same creamer. I'm using the French vanilla creamer. It's just an off brand uh, from my local grocery store. But this is usually what I use, the fat free coffee mate creamer. And this is how much I typically would use all right, so I'm looking for that peanut butter color, and I would probably put in that much creamer. All right, if I were to measure that out, that's almost a, mm, a quarter of a cup. All right, and I would go through about one of these in about every, well, less than, less than 12 days. Okay, so now, <laughs> now is where, I need to get my points figured out. And this is the really hard part. This is like telling an alcoholic to stop drinking. I say that lightly. Okay, I have alcoholism that runs in my family. That's a whole other subject. But it's really hard when you like the taste of something and you need to change it. You need to make a change and this didn't come easy. So I'm just gonna show you. This is a table, this is a tablespoon. I'm gonna take a tablespoon of this, and I decided to buy these on Amazon. All right, it's really thin glass. Do not let your child use this, if you have a young child. And I would pour 
a tablespoon in this mug and then I would pour my coffee, my good old fashioned coffee. We have nothing fancy in this house, okay? So from this point to this point, it took me about three weeks. I would start dwindling down my um, my my creamer, uh, and I would I would measure it out, and just I wasn't happy with the flavor. But anyways, I got to a point this uh, about a year ago or a little over a year ago when I was able to drink like I would put that much oh that much coffee in there, and that would be my cup. And I wasn't thrilled, but it was better because I went from drinking four points to one. So now, over the course of the year, I have perfected it just a little bit. Okay, now what am I going to do? I'm going to like dump this out and show you. So I drank my coffee like this for a long time. I wouldn't fill it to the brim. I'm just going to dump this, the remaining in this other cup. So now... I'm going to use this again. I do, this is what I do now. I do a tablespoon of the fat-free creamer that you see right in front of this cup. That's my dog walking around because he thinks that I'm making food for someone and there's something that could drop. I started recently dabbling in the sugar-free. I'm not a fan of this don't like the artificial flavoring it's really sugary so I'm gonna just this is my it's I'm halfway done and we bought it a while ago um, probably like three or four weeks ago I used this I don't want to touch the camera for you I'm such a pro with this. the unsweetened almond breeze original uh, almond milk. So here's what I do. I'm making a cup of coffee. This is me now. We got me one point. You can drink this stuff, the unsweetened stuff. You can have a cup for zero points. So I'm looking for that peanut butter color. So I'm gonna put in like that much. This means I'm gonna have to drink this cup of coffee. Not a bad idea. So now look at that. And I'm going to fill my coffee up to this part. And this took me so long to get to this point. And I have this video breaking down, sorry, I have this video broken down for you this way because I searched everywhere. I wanted someone to tell me what to specifically do. Now I'm going to take my coffee, let, let me do this off to the side, let me see. I'm not stirring it for you. And this is my one point cup. All right. And that's it. And it's it's pretty good. It again, it took me a long time to get to this point. Your taste buds do not just change overnight. So, good luck with this process. You can do it.